Hey, this is YBR with BeamNG Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at a map called Fuji Goko. At least I hope that's how you pronounce it. If not, oh well. And I want to get a vehicle that matches the environment. So instead of an American pickup truck, we're going to go with a 200BX and what the heck? Let's go ahead and go with the drift version. So we got a Japanese car in a Japanese environment. Everything shall go great. Check how fast I can wreck it because this beautiful, appealing ramp right here, and we're going straight at it and we're going to fly. And let's see, are we going to clear these trees or are we going to get stuck and then we cleared them? And we're going to keep sliding down this hill for a while. I figured we'd just hit the trees and we'd be done because when I tested the ramp earlier, that's what happened. But apparently this time, I am able to clear it and get all the way down two layers of road it looks like. Let's see, can we get onto this road nice and easy? Yeah, can't accelerate anything. We could stop it, take a look at the damage and reset it. And now let's try our drive for more than 10 seconds before we wreck the car, which should be pretty easy because look, we can spend 10 seconds looking at the sign over here. So on this sign, it tells you all the different roads and kind of the environment that take place in. So you see they're color coded. So like the main road is that red run. What we're going to do is we're going to start off by driving around on the red road. And then afterwards, we'll check out some of the other ones as well. And apparently I can't go 10 seconds without wrecking a car. You, you would think it'd be possible, but nope, we ended up wrecking it anyways. Yeah, that was totally on purpose. I admit it. Oh, I'll watch it roll for a bit though. I don't even know if it hit the ramp or if it just drove off. But either way, we made it down to the road again, completely blind. It's kind of impressive. So now let's go ahead and make our way to the main road. As you saw on the map, we're pretty close to it, but we do have to drive to it. It's just one or two corners, depending on if you count this first thing as a corner or not, because it almost feels like a straight line if you cut it like that. I would say, yeah, that's a corner though. So it's two corners away. Next corner is right there with the red sign at it. We're going to go to the left because I think that's the more fun direction to go on the main road because this is a downhill section with hairpin after hairpin after hairpin after hairpin and the road really widens out here so it gives you a lot of room to slide all over the place so even if you're a terrible drifter and you can't even stay on the road you feel like you're doing a great job like right there that's not really the road but i feel like the best drifter ever as i slide through these corners because they're so forgiving i also really like the way the elevation changes it just gives them a nice feel to it and it's not the same every corner like some of them are steeper than others so it's a good variety to it like this one not as steep as the last one more smooth and easy going this one we got a wall on the other side so we definitely don't want to overshoot this one except i kind of undershot it that time i went way too slow because i was scared of the wall i mean can you blame me that's a big wall and that's also a big wall to our left so i don't want to hit that one either and again we kind of went a little too slow through the corners but you still feel like you're doing a great job because of how forgivingly large these roads are. Okay, right here, that was bad. That was bad. Just kind of maintain as much speed as possible. Which means, yes, I did have to cut through the dirt just a little bit. Ignore that. Pretend that didn't happen. Yeah, I'll try to make up with, with an actually good drift right here. One good time. One good time. Way, way off the corner. Nope, nope, nope. Not happening. Not happening at all. I tried and failed. You know what I think, though? I think it's time for Crash. So let's just go ahead and ride up that wall. Whoops, didn't mean to click that, but that works, too. Yeah, <laughs> the chief just grabbed us, said, you're my car now. And we've actually skewered ourselves, basically. Oh, that looks weird when the tree moves and the car doesn't. Okay, back to the road with you. And your new job is to, well, actually, it's the same as the last job. Keep on driving and sliding all over the place and make it look like I know what I'm doing, even though I'm really just sliding all over the place and hoping I don't crash. Although apparently I've done pretty good at that because the only time I've crashed so far is when I wanted to. I haven't even fully spun out. Like, yeah, there were a couple of times where I went really slow, but I haven't spun out yet. And it's been like three minutes, maybe even four or five. Probably not five. All right, here we go. Big corner right here. Going in good and really slow exit, but at least I slid a lot. Gotta look at the positives. Yes, I exited the corner about 25 miles per hour, but I left a nice skid mark right there for the next people to see. And I'm doing not the same this time. No, that one was really bad because there's a wall right there. That's my excuse. Didn't hit the wall, but it distracted me and I messed everything up. So if I don't naturally crash soon, I might just force one. I really think though, yeah, I'm gonna crash soon. I can't even stay on the road right there. I'm all in the dirt. Come on, get out of the dirt car. You don't want to be in that. It's dirty. I uh, figure any moment though, I probably will crash because I'm in the other dirt. Oh, look at that. There's like little lights right there as I like, zoom by them and not even pay any attention. That really was like paying no attention. Okay, I made it to the tunnel. What I'll do is I'll go through the tunnel full speed ahead and we'll crash into whatever's on the other side of the tunnel. We're gonna be going well over 100 miles per hour for this crash. Should do a pretty good a chunk of damage to this car. Sliding and boom. Yep, front end ruined. Solely ruined. Now, 
let's swap this out for a different vehicle. I'm thinking, how about we go with a modern Abishu Pessima street tune? And you're thinking, oh, Abishu Pessima, ew. But here's the neat thing. Since we're going uphill, we could probably almost go flat out with this vehicle and never have to slow down except to make it churn in a little bit better. Otherwise, we could just drive pedal to the floor hopefully this whole time. We'll see what actually happens. It doesn't look like it's as steep as I was hoping it would be. It's not like the other one where the downhill is pretty steep, but this uphill over here isn't that steep because we're going 80 miles per hour, which is a little too fast to be able to do a corner like that. Oh, well, that corner wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Like this corner, maybe. Actually, that's a pretty easy corner, too. Because I just did it at about those speeds. Turns out, there aren't any tight corners going up this way. I swear there were when I was looking at the map earlier and driving around, but I wasn't really driving in a predetermined path like this. I was going every which way, exploring things. There's a tight corner. Oh, my goodness. Don't hit the... Don't hit them. Yeah, we're good. See, I knew there were tight corners. I just had to say, I don't think there are tight corners after all, and then the tight corners show up. Now watch, in the next corner, it's also going to be tight for no real reason besides me saying that. And yes, that is tight. No oh goodness, don't hit the wall. Okay, I need a new strategy when I'm going in these corners. One that's more flat out. We're going to do pedal to the floor and then just do a little bit of e-brake addition like that so we could hopefully maintain speed a little bit better. That wasn't too bad, but it could definitely been faster. Try it once more on this next corner. Hopefully it's another tight one. Nah, yes it is, yes it is, yes it is. Oh goodness. I thought it wasn't going to be tight, so I was coming at it from a bad angle. Dang it. These corners are confusing me. I just got to look at the inside of the corner. If it has the dashed lines like that, it's going to be a tight corner probably. Oh, that one wasn't as tight as I thought it would be. I don't know. It's hard to predict the corner. This one's not going to be tight because it only has little signs. That I know for certain. And the dashed lines mean it's going to be at least pretty tight, but it might not be super tight. Okay. Sure, that works in my mind. Yeah, all that, that matches up exactly with what I think it should be. I really do wish that this car had a little less power, actually. That way we could perfectly go flat out through every corner and I have to do the e-braking on them. But it's just a little too fast to be able to do that and it's too late for me to go and change that because I think when you see that, that's the top of the hill. There's also like a little checkered flag thing we crossed. So now it's all downhill from here, but we've already done most of the downhill. It's only a couple of corners until we get to the area where we turn on to the main road. Just gonna look for it. Well, actually, instead of turning back onto it, I got a different idea. Let's crash into something. We're gonna be going really fast on the downhill. So there is the turn in, but we're gonna keep going, go as fast as we can, hopefully hit maybe 80 miles per hour on this corner and then crash it. All right, not quite 80 miles per hour. It's gonna only be about 63. We got a good crash right there. We actually got the roof of the car damaged, which is a little bit unexpected. Nice looking damage right there. And now let's get a different car. And let's make this one not make as much sense. We're going to go with the ETKI series. And it's not like, oh, there are no German cars in Japan or something. It's just like this kind of feels like Initial D style things. And when you think Initial D, every single car in that show is a Japanese car. All right, can we kind of sneak our way on out? There we go. And we're going to head back to the map so we can decide what route we want to take next since it's not that far away. And it's kind of funny watching the bumper flinging all over the place. What? Whereas I say that, the bumper's like, Oh, sure, you swinging all over the place. And it clamped back down. I have never seen a bumper clamp down that hard. Like, it's not even moving. It's there, solidly attached. Oh, that's weird. Ooh, opportunity. All right, so now the bumper fell off. And now we're also flying many, many feet in the air, and we have been skewered by yet another tree. Oh, and this time we even got a little bit of fire in the mix. It's kind of hard to see the car, but good news is it's going to be a little bit easier to see it now because it's slowly rolling down the hill. Can it stop? Yeah, it's going to stop right there. So you can take a look at the damage before we go ahead and bring it back up to the top where we can look at the map and really figure out what path are we going to be taking. So what's the plan going to be? How about let's go to the racetrack, which is the blue down here. We're up here. So we'll head down the secondary road all the way to the blue. I just got to make sure I go the right route. Hopefully it's not too confusing. I know we want to take the first right up here. And then after that, I don't know. We're just going to wing it and see what happens there. So there is the first right we want to take. That's actually a pretty tight looking corner. We'll slow this down a lot. And then got it. Go, go, whoa, 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 whoa. We can tap the wall just a little bit. That's okay. 
Wall taps are okay as long as they don't damage the car. Can we get some air time right here? Yeah, a little bit of air time. Oh, that looks like a tight corner. Slow it down. Slow it way down. Okay, so these ones, these are tight corners, but they don't have the easy forgiveness that the other area had. These are much more difficult. These ones you actually need a little bit of skill to go through. Or you can just be like me and have an all-wheel drive car that does it for you in this situation. Ha <laughs> ha Is that a road I want to go? No, that doesn't look like a dirt road or something. I don't think I want to go there. Also, I have no idea what's coming up on these corners. I don't know how much to slow down. That's scary. You gotta slow down a lot. Oh, tapped it. That's okay. Little taps are fine. Little taps mean you're just a little bit too fast. That's okay. Just some of them not flying off the course, destroying my car. I want to get to the bottom with one car. That's all I want. What had happened was I lost my good initial D juju. Like when I was using a car that felt like I was from initial D, I was able to do great. Now, uh, not so much. And once I went to the Ibishi Pessima, and then this one, it's all downhill from there. And it's actually literally downhill from here. Is that my... No, that doesn't look like it. That looked like a dirt road more so. And there are two levels of dirt roads. There's like, some feel suitable for cars, and then some of them, you can drive a car on it, but you really probably shouldn't be driving a car on it. Ooh, don't crash. Now go to the other way. <laughs> That's actually a really nice corner set right there. I like the way they're both really tight one after the other. Makes you really have to go back and forth with the car. And I don't know what's coming up here, so I'm a little scared. Slowing it down. That's not my corner either. I, I think I just stay on this road because every corner I see, it's like a little bit more of a unpaved road. And I know I want to stay on this style of road. And what is that? Is that the track? That is the track. Awesome. That's where I want to be. I'm thinking, though, we need a different car for the track. Oh, listen to that. That's kind of neat. You just have people over there playing some music or something. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and swap this out for a car that's a little bit more suited for the tracks. How about, uh, let's do another Pestima. This time it's going to be the old one, and we want Hill Climb. Yeah, I could use the track one, but... I like the way the hill climb one drives better. It just feels so much faster. And then it has all that aggressive downforce that looks awesome on it. So it's a very good car for this, even though the name doesn't quite match up with what we're doing. And yes, I am still kind of sliding this around the corners as you're seeing, because I kind of got in the mood of doing that, and we're going to keep doing that. And ooh, those are some tricky corners right there. It's back and forth, and I kind of just cut them right in the inside. That right there looked like a decent corner. Exiting good. I like that one. I mean, it wasn't the best, obviously, because this is like only the second time I've ever done a lap on this course, but I liked the way it felt. And we're able to get to like 70 miles per hour before we have to slow down through here, and oh my goodness, I forgot I went left afterwards. Yeah, I am all over the place on this course. But we're making progress through it, and we haven't damaged the car in any way that I know of. It still drives nice and straight right there, and it has no problems putting down the power. So we should be able to finish up one lap with this. So YBR, before he wrecks it up, watch. I'm gonna lose a piece of the car before you know it, even though there's only just a little bit left of the course. It's gonna happen. Oh, maybe it's not gonna happen. That's nice. I really thought it would happen. Nope. There we go. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. All right. The car is officially damaged. We need to go to the pits and get it repaired. We gotta find my pit box. Which one is it? That one. That was my pit box. So I pull up like, hey, guys, fix my car. See, the hood went in there. And they just look at me like, why BR, dude, you just, you ruined the car. We can't fix this. Look at these doors. They're basically falling off. I said, I don't care. Fix my car. And they work a miracle and they fix it. And then I say, you know what? Maybe I don't want to drive this car anymore. Yeah, can you like completely change the way the car is and make it more of a rally car? So then they do that. Because I have the best pit crew in the world who are actually willing to put up with my nonsense like that. And then we're going to head out. And I'm going to look for some of the less paved roads. There's another sign over here that tells you exactly where we are. It's pretty nice. So let's see. How do we get to a dirt road? Actually, not that hard. We just kind of exit out of here and then drive to the left and we should find one. Seems like that should be pretty doable. Let's go ahead and make our way out of here. But first, look at this. We got art. Fancy, traditional style, Japanese arts all over the place. Neat. Taking a quick peek at them all. And then, yes. Some crazy looking dude right there. He looks like he's super cross-eyed or something, man. Alright, anyways, we gotta find our way out of here. So we wanna go out of here and then to the left, and then we wanna take like another left and another left, and we should be able to find a dirt path we can drive the rally car on. Ooh, that was close. I almost just took off my mirror right there. Like, I stuttered just for a second, which is just enough to make sure I kept my mirror. And I'm not seeing the dirt road yet. There it is. So I think this is the 
Dirt road, you can drive your car on, but you probably shouldn't road. Whoops. Yeah, that's why you shouldn't drive your car on it, because you'll do that. How badly damaged is that? That's nothing. We still drive straight. I thought we were going to be pulling to the side for sure, because it looked like it hit right about where the wheels were, but somehow the body took the damage, and we can keep on going. Sweet. And actually, we should be getting a good view of Mount Fuji up ahead of us. And there it is. You can see it just now. Although I'm going to be going around the corner, and then there'll be trees blocking it again. I'll try to remember to get a better look at it later, but you can kind of see it off to the side, right? Yeah, I, I can't be looking at that. I see my car also flying in the air, and it's just... This is concerning. I should focus on my car and not the mountains in the background. I think it's just pretty cool, though, because it, it stands out from, like, a skybox. Like, most of the time, you don't even look at the skybox, but this one's like, Dang, look at that mountain. It's so big. And, of course, you know, if I'm driving towards it, I gotta mention it a little bit. And at the top of this hill, we have a pretty nice-looking building. It's a very traditional Japanese style, and it is massive. I'm not sure what it would be used for, but it is neat to take a look at. And it is right there. You see just how huge this thing is. Like, we could have a race around the building. It's that big. So we can go ahead and poke on into the inside. And there is some music playing sometimes, but it's not playing right now. I don't hear it. That's kind of weird. Or maybe it's just really, really faint. Like, if I can't hear it, I know you guys won't be able to hear it. That's the thing. Okay, I hear it now. So maybe what I'll do is I'll move the camera closer to where I think the music's coming from, and I'll let you hear it. Hopefully you're able to hear that. It is pretty quiet, and I don't remember it being that quiet, but whatever. Let's get out of here and continue along on some of these dirt roads. Now, this is a different type of road completely. It's like this road that looks like it would be unbelievably bumpy, but it's actually smooth. Don't know how they do it, but it is smooth. And once again, we're driving on the more difficult to drive on dirt road, but over here, there is one that's a little bit easier. And I'm calling it a dirt road, but it's actually paved, isn't it? Yeah. It just looks like a dirt road because it is dirty enough to look like one, but it is actually paved because I left skid marks in it, and you can't really leave skid marks on a dirt road that easily. And now we're back to an actual dirt road. You can see the difference there. No skid marks. And this is where this car shines, so I kind of want to stick to these kinds of roads just to make sure I make a good use of the car I chose. That one, I went a little bit too close. Although I am doing pretty good through here. You know, I'm going nice and fast, maneuvering the car well, and again, another road I'm enjoying to drive on. Like, I really enjoyed that first section. I'm really enjoying this section. Middle section, it was okay, but it was a little less forgiving. And ooh, okay, you see this, scares? You see this place right here? You do not want to go here. This is haunted. Trust me, whatever you do, do not enter that place at all costs. Okay, let's get to pretend we're, we're going to pretend we didn't even see it because I want the ghost following me. We're just gonna keep on driving like, la 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 la, I didn't see nothing, even though there's a big obvious sign up top. Yeah, I saw it, but they can't catch me when I'm driving this fast. Okay, I'm driving like 10 miles an hour through the dirt. I feel like I should be driving faster, but the car just wasn't doing it. It's because the ghosts are pulling me back, they're slowing me down. I can't keep driving no more. But now I think I've escaped them because my speed is up to the 30s. I'm happy with that. So there's one more building section I want to find, and I'm pretty sure we're going in the right direction. I say I'm pretty sure because sometimes these dirt roads start to look a little similar, but I think it connected to the one with the haunted area eventually. We'll see. For now, though, we still got a little bit of driving either way. And this is actually a nice one right here. You got a cliff on the side. Don't want to fall off of that. I know you guys are like, I want you to crash. Nah. We're gonna get to that area with no crashes. Zero crashing to get to the area. That is the goal. I'm gonna try my very best to accomplish this. And now that I said that, I'm gonna crash. I know it. Now I just said that, yep, you're going too fast right into that. That's like kind of a crash, like a half crash. I mean, it did probably damage the suspension a little bit, but that's not gonna affect me enough to slow me down, hopefully. Okay, there's a little bit more driving than I thought to get to the destination I wanna go, or I'm in the completely wrong area either way at least i'm enjoying the drive again a nice road to drive on a lot of uphill right here though so this car isn't getting to go as fast as i was hoping unfortunately because of how much uphill there is but it is still you know getting up to 50 miles per hour here and there like right there we got a little bit of a downhill we're moving and then another uphill 
Slows us down a little bit, keeps me in check from crashing myself. And I'm just hoping that I'm actually going the right way. I am completely second guessing myself here. I thought I knew where I was going. I, I don't think that's the case any longer. So what I might have to do is I might have to go above the map and wait a minute. Is that the road? No. Oh, wait. No, no, no. This is it. This is it. This is it. If we go straight through here, this is where I wanted to go. Nice. Okay. So if we go straight over to here, you see there's this really cool looking like cherry blossom tree right there. And then you got some buildings to the left and right. There's also some music playing, which I think it's the same as the one that was on the racetrack. So I'm not going to let you guys listen to that right now because you heard it when we were at the racetrack and then we can kind of just stop on this bridge right here and you got a beautiful picture spot right here okay because you got the bridge you got the car you got the cherry tree and then in the back you got mount fuji beautiful picture anyways till next time this has been ybr i'll see ya